a bus. Nine seven. Hot shit. Check it out. Hit you with no delays of what you saying, yo. Silly with my nine milli with the dilly, yo. When I be on times with a strawberry letter brought to you by the movie Best Man Holiday in theaters November the 15th. All right, thank you, nephew. Here's the subject engaged with the side piece. Dear Stephen yes. Shirley, <laughs> I have a guy friend and we admired each other for over 10 years, for 10 years. During the 10 years friendship, he was involved with someone else and I was in a dysfunctional relationship. He would always make moves on me when we would see each other. I stayed clear of him because I knew that he and his partner were swingers. Two years ago, after I got out of my dysfunctional relationship, we started seeing each other. He said he was out of his relationship too. I explained to him that I was not into swinging and I would not tolerate cheating. One year after us dating, I discovered by accident on social media that he was involved with another woman. I shut it down. I sent the other woman a message to alert her that the man that she's madly in love with sleeps in my bed four nights a week, and it's four nights of action. I sent her this message not to hurt her, not really, but to alert her. AIDS is real. I then told him to never contact me again. Uh, six weeks after this, I ran into him in the grocery store. He begged and pleaded with me, saying that he loved and missed me and he would do whatever it takes to get me back. I've always thought a lot of this man. He loves and admires his mother and siblings. He has a good job and handles his business as a man. Later on that day, I decided to check out the social media site again and I discovered his involvement with another woman. Uh, to my surprise, they are engaged to get married. The moral of this story is I have slept with him a couple of times since I discovered the engagement. I really don't want him and the sex was okay. I really can't tell you why I slept with him after knowing the facts. Now he's engaged and told me that his fiance wanted to get engaged to make someone else jealous. LOL. In my mind, I just wanted to turn him out and forgive and forget him. Now he calls me from block numbers, morning, noon, and night. When I do answer, he acts as if everything is cool and that he's not engaged. He will not stop calling me. Perhaps I am to blame. I never should have slept with him again. How do I get rid of this man? Well, here's a question for you, side piece. How does it feel to be played for the last 10 years or so? I mean, really, I, I, I know you think you were the one in control. He was chasing you down and all of this and everything, but that was certainly not the case here. Uh, you know, all you are to this guy is what you said in the title, a side piece. That is it. That is all. You were not engaged. Every time you check into him, there's another woman. All of this. You're, you're not number one, any of that. Um, I, I just say, you know, an answer to to your question, how do you get rid of him? Well, you know, you say he calls you from block numbers morning, noon, and night. Stop stop answering his calls. Tell him once and for all, stop calling you, and then stop. Go on about your business. But, you know, you just have to stop delusion, being delusional here because you're not in control. You say you just wanted to be with him and turn him out. No, you're the one that got turned out, okay? Because you were sleeping with him after knowing that he was engaged, all of that. So you you need to stop. He's not going to stop until you stop, okay? And you really, really, really need to stop. And quit even referring to yourself as a side piece, even though that's what you were. But just stop it. Steve? Okay. <laughs> this stopped. letter is Exhausted. dysfunctional. Yes, it is. During the 10-year friendship that she had this guy she admired and all like that, he was involved with someone else, and I was in a dysfunctional relationship. Okay, let's describe the relationship he was in. He was always making moves on me when we would see each other. I stayed clear of him because I knew that he and his partner were swingers. But two years ago, after I got out of my dysfunctional relationship, we started seeing each other. So now, let me get this right. You get out of your dysfunctional relationship to get into a relationship with a man who specializes in dysfunctional relationships. Mm. So you jump out the frying pan into the fire. Okay. That set the tone for this entire letter. 
He said he was out of his relationship, too. I explained to him that I was not into swinging and I would not tolerate cheating. A year after us dating, I discovered by accident on social media. You don't go on social media by accident, by the way. You log in. That he was involved with another woman. Oh, I shut it down. Now, look how she shut it down. I sent the other woman a message to alert her that the man she's madly in love with sleeps in my bed four nights a week, and it's four nights of action. I sent her this message not to hurt her, but to alert her. AIDS is real. Wow. Mm -hmm. You went that far? And what okay. did that do to change his behavior? According to this letter, not a damn thing. So now we'll be back with you, lady, after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey. All right, back to the letter. Engaged with the side piece. You know, see, lady, you you a trip. You stayed clear to me because you knew he was... He and him and his partner were swingers. You were in a dysfunctional relationship. Then after you see the man again, you find out he ain't in a relationship. So you get in a relationship with him, too. But then you tell him you ain't in the swinging and you ain't going to tolerate cheating. But then after a year you dating, you discover the accident on social media that he was involved with another woman. And really, and then this is how you shut it down. You sent the lady a message, tell her that the man she madly in love with sleeps in your bed four nights a week and it's four nights of action. I sent her this message not to hurt her, but to alert her AIDS is real. Really? Mm. I told him to never contact me again. Then you run up into the man in the grocery store. He told you what everybody, I love you, I miss you. I do whatever it takes to get you back. That's You had this conversation in the grocery store. Guess what? Then you said, I've always thought a lot of this man. He loves and admires his mother and siblings, and he has a good job to handle his business as a man. So now you go back to sleeping with this man. This is the part you leaving out. But then you say, later on that day, I decided to check out his social media site again, and I discovered his involvement with another woman, to my surprise. Why are you being surprised by a dude that's a swinger? <laughs> what is the surprise here? This is about your fourth surprise in this damn letter. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> they are engaged to be married. The moral of this story is I've slept with him a couple times since I discovered the engagement. How the hell? That's a moral to the story. You know, moral of a story means the good thing. Right. The upside. The lesson learned. That's what moral of the story means. You ain't learned nothing. You slept with him since you discovered the engagement because you like swingers. I really don't want him, and the sex was okay. Oh, lady, let me tell you something. See, this one women kill me. I really don't want him, and the sex is okay. Well, how about this here? Maybe your sex ain't all that either. Mm. Maybe that's why he keep getting somebody else and not just sticking with you. You ever thought about that? Duh. I thought I'd throw that out. And then since you back sleeping with him, what happened to the AIDS is real comment uh, two paragraphs ago? Mm. Lady. I can't tell you why I slept after him after knowing the facts. Now he's engaged and told me that his fiance wanted to get engaged to make someone else jealous. LOL. In my mind, I just wanted to turn him out and forget him. So you think you turned him out? Like Shirley said, you the one got turned out. You the one keep sleeping with the man, whether he engaged, swinging, or whatever. You the one turned out on a man that ain't got good sex. Somebody lying in the movie because I, you know, and if you're gonna get turned out, you get turned out because you know why I don't because they're putting that thing on you. That wouldn't happen. You got that thing put on you. Now you turned out. Now you trying to do like it's him. You crazy. How do I get rid of this man? You need to figure out a way to get rid of yourself. Uh -huh. <laughs> you need to get rid of the old you and get a new you. That's what you need to do. <laughs> All right. Tweet me at my girl Shirley and tell me what you think about this letter today. Some people are saying this was written by a man, Steve. I've got a couple of those tweets. Um, oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, coming up some music from Salt and Pepper and Junior Time. So All having a blitz and reminisce on my nigga notorious. Well, I really want to party like that, 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 that. Me see that, 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 that,